those spaces because I feel like those are the spaces that women get clouded first and that women most need to be clear to hear mm-hmm. that body voice, that body wisdom, that guidance, right? Um, yeah, and I just, I noticed, I think I shared this with you last time we chatted, um, maybe like 10 years ago, you know, we always think of like, well, when we're dealing with trauma, there's a mental aspect, there's a body aspect, right? We have to engage the somatic aspect. We kind of like know that now, most people know that. Um, But what I don't hear talked about a lot is that there's a third place and it happens in men and women, but predominantly, like I work with men and women and I see this happen more with women than with men, Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. that the, there's like a corresponding place in the pelvis. The pelvis is kind of like a map Mm -hmm. of the whole thing. And so if we start with the mental aspect, then we need to engage the somatic aspect. We do our tracking, we do our movement, et cetera. Um, If we start with the mental, then we have to go looking in the body, right? The body doesn't often, it can, but it doesn't often um, resolve on its own, that, that piece. Mm-hmm. If we start with the somatic mm-hmm. aspect, often the mental aspect comes along with, uh, but then we usually still have to go looking in the pelvis. There will still be a hiccup in yeah. there for whatever reason. If we start with the pelvis, yeah. I find like most of the time the somatic, like the body aspect and the mental aspect resolve on their own. And I mm-hmm. don't know why, if it's mm-hmm. just like the pelvis is the root so it's, you're going to the root, like we always say, you know, it's a cliche saying, go to the root or whatever, but like mm-hmm. literally that could be why I'm not totally sure. I only know that it does work. And so for a number of years, I spent yeah. time trying to teach women how to de-armor, you know, um, like use a crystal wand or their hands where they could reach or have a partner, you know, I like would teach their partners mm-hmm. what to look for and how to release like adhesions or knots or tension in the vaginal mm-hmm. canal, in the mm-hmm. pelvic floor. And then I just realized, um, like I just had kind of assumed, oh, this is a sensitive area. People would probably prefer to do it for themselves. What I forgot, mm. or maybe wasn't aware of at the time, is that that can be really confronting. That can actually be harder to do yeah. it yourself, especially where trauma is yeah. concerned, than yeah. to have someone you trust walk through it with you. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and also yeah. angles, you can't reach everything. And as lovely yeah. as a crystal wand is like, I have crystal wands. I use them. I think they're great. They are not a fucking substitute for hand and the presence of a, another human being with you. 